On today's episode, I'm going over five facts about John Mayer's gear that you probably don't know. Let's get into it. And after you guys are done watching today's episode, please leave a comment and let me know how many out of the five you knew before today's episode, whether it's zero out of five, two out of five, or all five of them. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, number five. John's first instrument that he tried to get into was not the guitar, it was the clarinet. This is so ridiculous. I can't imagine John playing the clarinet, but as you're going to see from this clip from Conan in 2006, it's true. Yeah. Now, uh, guitar, not your first instrument. You tried to rock out for a while. Is this tri true on the clarinet? The clarinet. There's a clarinet there. I, I started... Ner nerds everywhere are cheering you on. I started... Hooray! I started on first clarinet. And then I moved back to second clarinet and then yeah. third clarinet, and eventually I marched the entire Memorial Day parade without a reed. <laughs> Which is true. I mean, the right. entire time, right. clarinet synced. And when did, when did it all, when did, it, did, did you see a guitar appear to you in the sky, no, a flaming you know, guitar? Wow. No, but I, I just I thought I that's how everything happened in life. No, I, uh, some people just pick up the guitar and they know there's something they can do on it. And right. I still feel the same way. I still pick up the guitar. I wake up in the morning and look at it and go, you know, I'm going to get you today. You know? Right, right. <laughs> I think you got it, yeah, Thank yeah. You. Uh, Number four, John first started playing PRS guitars in the Battle Studies era. Now I know a lot of you guys probably think that he first started playing PRS guitars after he left Fender. But as you can see from this picture here, it's from the Battle Studies era. I honestly have no idea what performance this was. There are a few pictures that you can see of John playing a PRS McCarty 594 hollow body. I believe that's what this is here. So it's kind of cool to see that he actually first started to experiment with these PRS guitars that we see him play all the time now, especially with Dead & Company. Number three, the Fender Artist Series John Mayer Signature Stratocaster almost had two more colors than we originally have. Now I know what some of you guys are probably thinking. There is one more commonly known color that we were supposed to get called Arles Blue. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a vintage Range Rover color and we know John is a fanatic for Range Rovers, just the whole brand in general. And he shared a picture of the prototype to his Instagram of what could have been. This blue is brilliant, and I would have loved a Mayor Sig in that color, honestly, more than my Olympic white. That color is brilliant. But the second one that I doubt a lot of people know of, and I never even knew until my buddy Tommy figured out, is Burgundy Mist. This Burgundy Mist guitar that you can see John playing with years ago, this is kind of around 2004, 2005. He's playing this guitar, and if you look at the headstock, the very front of it has a Mare signature on it. So this was clearly some sort of prototype for the John Mare signature Stratocaster, and it's such a shame that we never got Burgundy Mist and this Arles Blue, because those are two amazing colors that would have looked great on a Mare signature Strat, and I kind of like those a little bit better than some of the other colors we got, to be honest. All right, number two is that the black one was not immediately John Mayer's number one Stratocaster when it was finished. We know the black one was finished in November of 2004. Now, if you look at all the footage we get and even all the pictures we get from 2004 to the end until 2006, especially during the trio era, you rarely see the black one, if at all. You see the Monterey Strat all over that time period, even that John Cruz master-built Sonic Blue Strat you see quite often. But what you don't see is the black one. There might be the odd performance of the odd show where he brings it out, but it wasn't immediately his go-to guitar. And I think it kind of comes down to the fact that he says, that Strat is all over Continuum, and that Strat is the sound of Continuum, essentially. And it's during that recording of Continuum that the black one he really connects with and then becomes his number one guitar from 2006 onwards, it's his number one Stratocaster. But in the early days when it was finished, in late 2004 to 2005, you don't really see it ever. And I know I might be reading into this a little bit, but come on, if it was his number one Strat, he'd use it all the time. And it clearly wasn't. That Monterey pretty much was his number one Strat. All right, the final one on our list today is that Slow Dancing in a Burning Room was recorded with not the Black One, not the Monterey, but the 1964 Sunburst Strat. Yes, that guitar. Now we know this because Sweetwater Sounds did an interview with Chad Franskoviak, who was the audio engineer for the continuum recording, 
and they asked him what guitar was used by John for slow dancing in a burning room, and he said the 1964 Sunburst Strat, which is another example of a guitar that really took its time in becoming a mainstay on stage and live with John. He had that guitar since, I believe off the top of my head, 2005 is when he first got it, maybe early 2006, but that guitar you don't really see on stage until the, the Born and Raised era. That's when we first get to see it, and then it's been a mainstay Stratocaster for him, one of his number one strats, pretty much since 2013, 2014 to present day. But between 2013 to 2006, you don't really see a lot of footage of it being used on stage at all. So it's a strat that he almost, I think, maybe rediscovered and re-fell in love with, and it's just really cool to see him play the guitar that the song was written on. It's just kind of special, and John's one of those guys who you know really likes to do that with guitars. And there, those are five things you probably did not know about John Mayer's gear. Please again, leave a comment down below now. How many did you know before watching this video? And if you guys want me to do another video like this, please let me know as well. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers here. It's a goal of mine to hit 5,000 before 2021 is over. So if you made it all the way through this video, please, I think I've earned it. Hit that subscribe button, you won't be disappointed. And as always, thanks again for watching.